What's up guys, DK here with Collector's Impact and today this is going to be a fun, random and hopefully relaxing video where we are just going to open up a couple of these Watchtower plus 100 card box um, commander deck boxes or whatever. We're going to do an unboxing and review of these products. Now apparently, at least according to the label, these are already like talked about by uh, Telerian Community College here, so <laughs> I haven't actually seen those videos myself. I don't know if you guys have or not, but I was at my uh, LGS there, local game store today, and found these on their shelf. Went ahead and purchased them because I have been building some commander decks recently. Now the theme of these decks is actually kind of fun as they're uh, we're allowing ourselves to use one rare and or mythic commander and then every other card in the deck has to be a uh, common or uncommon. So it's really quite entertaining. It's been a lot of fun uh, playing with these decks. So if, you've, uh, if you're into commander, definitely give that a try as it's really fun. But anyway, so I bought here the XL, which is for extra thick inner sleeved cards, which my logic behind buying this is I don't have... Um, inner sleeves. I don't use them. I just never have. I, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's just kind of my thing. So I wanted the XL for token storage because as it was, I have a, an even bigger case than this that I've been using. And if this can replace the bigger case, it would be less bulk. Therefore, I wanted to go ahead and check that out. And then the other one here, it doesn't have the uh, thicker aspect to it for the inner sleeves. So I just got this for this deck, as none of the cards make tokens in that deck. So, boom, if you're not making any tokens, this is an ideal one for you. All right, let's go ahead and crack the first package here. I'm not going to keep the box, so uh, I might just tear into it a bit. So we'll see about that. But, yeah, let's cut that open and go for this. Yeah, overall package is great. I mean, look at this. Super clean, super easy to open, and it just, well, in theory, pops right on out. My hands are just not not working properly today. That's uh, more on me than the packaging. Again, not sponsored by this company or this product. I have zero affiliation with them. This is a uh, just an honest review from a customer. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> So again, this is the 100 plus convertible tower, not the XL. So there you go. So there's our deck box and you just pull the top off here and oh, look at that. The top comes off because it's magnetic. So you can just reseal it and you're even able to customize its location. You can move this to the bottom if you want and vice versa. So here's the side here. Just peel that apart. Slide the deck out. Got to get rid of your uh, silica gel here. <laughs> it's got this really nice little inner tray here so that you can actually support your cards. So there you go. Again, this is a 100 card commander deck, of course, with no tokens associated with it. You probably could actually slide in a good 10 to 15, mm, more like 10. 10 tokens or so would probably fit in here if you're looking for just uh, a pretty compact solution you could, uh, that can hold a few tokens. This is definitely going to be the way to go. And then you put your dice in here. Slide it in, put it all together, and you'll be good to go. All right, so there's the standard one. Let's go ahead and check out the XL and do a little comparison here. So again, let's crack this open. Let's see how the packaging is on this one. There wasn't a significant difference in price. I want to say like the XL was $3 more than the regular one. They're both about $25, at least what I paid for it. So maybe you can find it better online. I don't know, but yeah. Yep, so the XL is definitely noticeably bigger in your hands. Uh, let's get this wrapper off and do a side-by-side. -side. Yep, so here we go on its edge, edge to edge, with no packaging. There you go. Um, about a 15% or so difference in terms of its girth. How you like that word, girth? 
Um, yeah, I think that, <laughs> that's probably about accurate. So let's take a look at the inside right quick. Go ahead and throw out your silica gel. And there's the commander. And then, wow, yeah, so that leaves a lot of room. So if you have a good... 25 or 30 tokens, which I will in my other deck, absolutely. This is perfect for that, as you can fit them right there, or is my preference in the back, and then uh, just put them, put them on in here. Uh, yeah, this one's not sliding as well as the first one. Not sure if that's just me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it was just caught on something. Anyway, yeah, so you put it right there in the back, seal it on up, and there you go. It's pretty much the same thing, just uh, that one's good for tokens. All right, well, that wraps up the video for today, guys. Again, these are called Watchtower 100 Plus Convertibles uh, boxes, you know, card deck boxes by Gamegenic. Uh, ingenious supplies apparently <laughs> they're magnetically sealing um, deck boxes very high quality I have to say very very high quality so if you're looking for something kind of flashy and also really practical for your commander deck this does pretty well uh, if you like the video definitely give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel of course and if you want to see more videos like this as well as pack openings market discussions and uh, various other things related to cards and card games definitely subscribe to the channel thanks again for coming by and hope to see you back next time take care